Hi, my name is John, and I'd like to share a brief reflection on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, and the wilderness trial that Jesus experienced there. This is the next of our installment of a Lent series, which is a special 40 days of celebration and anticipation of the death and resurrection of Jesus. So let me begin by reading from Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. The beginning of the Gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written, Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you. Who will prepare your way? A voice of one calling in the desert. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. And so John came baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. <clears throat> and this was his message. After me will come one more powerful than I, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit of God descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the desert, and he was in the desert forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and the angels attended to him. So what I'd like to share about in this brief discussion about Jesus' wilderness experience in Mark's Gospel is the whole experience that he had in terms of this temptation and how it prepared him for ministry, which is Mark's emphasis. So you see at the very beginning there, if you look at this passage, and I'd encourage you to, to take a peek at it if you can, is a, a description of how John is sent ahead of Jesus as a messenger, uh, and his message is very uh, explicit. He is being sent to prepare Jesus' way, and the way that he does this is by pointing to Jesus, the one who's to come after him. And so you have this experience of, of John saying to the crowd that the one who comes after me uh, is greater than I am, not even worthy to stoop down and untie his, his sandals. And then he is baptizing people for the repentance of sins, and Jesus comes to him in the midst of that, which is a strange thing because we know from the rest of the Bible and the New Testament that Jesus claimed to be innocent of sin, and yet he was willing to be baptized. So why did he do that? Well, he did that because he wanted to identify with those whom he was going to come to minister to and to forgive. And then immediately after he's brought out of the water, uh, we hear God speak directly to him and saying to him that you are my son and he's well pleased with him. And then immediately after that, he's driven into uh, the wilderness by the Spirit. That's very significant. So it's not that uh, Jesus merely goes into the wilderness or accidentally heads there. He's taken there by the Holy Spirit. Uh, and part of the reason for that is connected into the entire story of the, of the Bible. Uh, the reason for that is because God intended Jesus to be a second example of his people that had failed to obey him in the wilderness, in the book of Exodus especially.